Hello, let me explain about the concept of pipeline. The concept of a pipeline is bringing up of few instructions from the memory and queuing them up or placing them inside the processor. So thereby what would be the advantage? You are increasing the speed of execution of the instructions. How are you uh, actually speeding up? Here, it is speeded up in such a manner that, as you can see, our processor follows three staged pipeline. That means, instruction execution is divided into fetch stage, decode stage, and the third stage is execute stage or execution stage. The instruction one is first of all fetched. Then when it is in the process of decoding, instruction two will be simultaneously fetched. Then when the instruction one is in the process of third stage that is in the final execution, instruction two will be decoded. And when first instruction is in the process of execution, and second instruction is being decoded, then the third instruction is brought or fetched from the memory. So you are overlapping the different stages of different instructions in a cycle. This is called as the concept of pipeline. How do you achieve it? You are going to have parallel units which will perform execution, decoding and fetching inside the processor. Thereby, you are going to increase the throughput or the efficiency of the execution of instructions in the ARM processor or any processor. So, what are the characteristics of pipeline, let us say? ARM 7 pipeline executes only when the third instruction is fetched. That means, uh, the ARM processor will wait till the third instruction has arrived. Out of three instructions, the third instruction has to be fetched. Then only the first instruction is going to complete its execution. That means, when all the three instructions are lined up, then each instruction takes up only one cycle for the execution of every instruction. So, that is actually the concept of risk reduced instruction set computer which says every instruction is executed in a single cycle. But you should know ARM does not execute all the instructions in one cycle. Some of the instructions would not be able to execute in uh, single instructions. That is a different issue. But all in all, most of the instructions in ARM just like any risk machine, every instruction will be executed within one cycle. So, when all the three instructions are brought and uh, queued up, then every instruction at an average takes one cycle for its execution. Then, when the program counter points to the address of the instruction executed plus two instructions ahead, that means to say, when one instruction is being executed by the processor, program counter will be pointing to not to the very next instruction, but to the next to next. That means third instruction it will be pointing at. So, every instruction requires four bytes. So, when first instruction is being executed, program counter will be plus four and plus four. It will be pointing to the plus 8th byte of the position that is the third instruction which is being about to be fetched. That is when first instruction is executed, pro program counter will be already pointing at the third instruction. Then third feature is when the processor in uh, thumb mode, so every instruction will be 2 byte. So then the third instruction exists in program counter plus 2 plus 2 that means plus 4. So first instruction is being executed in the thumb mode of our processor then program counter will be pointing to the third instruction which is plus 2 plus 2 is equal to plus 4. That is the third feature. Then Fourth feature is actually ARM10. It is not related to ARM7. It is related to ARM10, which says that 
it does branch prediction uh, in order to avoid pipeline flush. Why? What is the requirement of branch prediction? We should know when branch happens, the second and third instructions which are brought and queued up have to be unnecessarily flushed out because first instruction is a branch instruction which will make the processor execution control to shift to elsewhere. So second and third instructions which have come and be placed in the queue have to be aborted or discarded which will be a waste of processor time. So ARM 10 goes for an advanced feature where it understands what is the branch condition so that it avoids the second and third instructions following the branch instructions being brought. Uh, it avoids the processor time unnecessarily being wasted. So that feature is absorbed in ARM 10 but not available in the ARM 7 which we are currently uh, studying in this syllabus. The current instruction is completely executed even though when the interrupt request occurs. That means out of three instructions which are queued up, first instruction which is in now in the process of execution will complete its uh, execution only then the processor answers to the interrupt and it shifts to the interrupt service subroutine. That means it completes the first instruction before going to the second and third instructions in the queue. It will shift to the instruction uh, interrupt service subroutine. So these are all the features or the characteristics of uh, pipeline uh, in the ARM processor. Thank you so much.